Hey guys, it's Pete with Crunch Time Coaching. We are on video three of our three-part series on YouTube on serve power generation. What we did in video one is we showed you, and make sure you go back and watch it. I'll put all the links up here somewhere that if you did not watch them, make sure you watch those two videos first before watching this because they all build on each other. But briefly, in video one, we were showing you where does the power come from? Should we be more focused on the legs, on the arm, what's gonna give us the biggest bang for our buck, and we ultimately decided, just for our own safety, that we gotta incorporate everything, even though the arm can, alone can get us a ton of power, believe it or not. All right, in video number two, we showed you three power building exercises for the arms and for the legs. Uh, so I suggest if you have not seen that, you definitely wanna go back to video number two. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how can you we start to develop this power but not lose our balance and our control. So many people, when they start trying to fall really hard, their body goes way out of whack. So today I'm gonna to show you a, a, a ritual that I want you to go through every time you're warming up your serve and you're going out to play a match that very few people do. And so let's get started right away. All right guys, so when I go get ready to play a match, I don't start hitting the serve very hard right away. And you'll notice lots of pros do not do that either. And I challenge you to do this. This is something that seems easy, but so many of my students actually get mad at me when I make them do this because they can't do it. And that is being able to serve with both legs on the ground, especially people who really want to hit the ball hard. They tend to be jumping and jerking, all kinds of stuff. And then you ask them to stand still and hit a serve to start warming up. Very few people can do that. And what is this doing? Well, first of all, that's making sure that you have a very good toss that's reliable, that you don't have to go chasing around. See, if you, if you have a toss that's not in the right spot, uh, like this is one of the most common things I see when I see people do this. They'll throw that ball up and the ball will come here and they gotta like step out of the way and hit the ball there or they stumble. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. Plus, we're warming up our arm. The more you warm up the arm, your serve is going to get bigger and bigger without you even trying to do that. So the first thing is just establishing that balance, that contact point. We want the body to start to recognize where is that toss going to be all day for us and where is it easy to hit. And by keeping both feet on the ground, I'm able to do that. So I'm able to start hitting that ball solid right away. The next thing I'm going to do, and you're going to notice that the ball is going to go a little harder without me even trying, is now to just do a step through move. Like I'm a uh, pitcher and my foot, my back foot's coming around. So I'm coming here and I'm hitting that. Now look how much bigger that serve went and I don't even feel like I swung any harder. And that's just by adding a little more body and stepping through. Oh, that one went in the net. I dropped my head. Let's try it again. So I'm coming here and stepping through that serve. Now again, once I start to feel really balanced on that and I feel good about it, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go into a big, big jump and very explosive. I'm gonna do what's called the lazy jump. So again, not trying to hit the ball any harder, just doing a little bit of, I like to kind of step in this. I know a lot of pros do this too. You know what, for you guys, I'm not gonna do that today though. I'm not gonna do the step in. I wanna do it more traditional so you guys don't develop any habits that that might not be the best because this may not be the best habit I do. So I'm going to come here and now I'm just going to start to lazily jump into the serve. You, again, you can see that's starting to go bigger and I'm not really bending too deep. I'm not swinging too hard. I just feel like I'm just kind of like a rag doll lazily jumping into the serve and you can see the serves getting bigger without much effort lazily jumping into the serve. Now what's happening is the racket head is starting to flow, the body's starting to flow. So everything's starting to work itself out. And I just keep building on that lazy jump until eventually I get to my ritual of, my ritual is I like to bounce the ball four times, one, two, three, four, so I'm rocking back and then really conjuring up the legs and hitting that serve. Ooh, that, that serve stuck in the fence. And that ball was actually quite dead. So to reach the fence and stick in there was pretty good. It's time for some new balls. But anyway, 
you can see by doing that, I'm able to start each practice and each match under control. So I know exactly what my body's doing, what it's capable of, and warming it up rather than making the mistake going out there and just thinking power, power, power. And that's where so many people lose control, lose balance, and they never can figure out how do I keep power in my game and consistency and control. And I think that this is the single best exercise that I've come up with for myself, not only my students, but for myself. It's how I start every match uh, to do that. Hey guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, three-part series on power. And before you go, I did promise to show you my serve speed. So I did get out the serve app. And uh, so here you go, here's a serve. You can see that it came out to 113. I am typically between 110 and 120 when I do measure my serve, which is not often. I do wanna give you uh, even more information right now to get your serve speed up and to just improve your serve in general. If you ever wanna serve that, you could learn how to hit slice, it's my favorite thing to teach, and a kick serve, which is really, really awesome because the serve is just not about you know, power, it's about being able to put it in, it's about being able to have the correct grip, the continental grip. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. And so I've got two things for you. I've got uh, seven steps to a powerful serve, which is a great downloadable book that you can download, bring it to the court, and follow it step by step to, again, just max out on your power. But I've also, I also wanna put in your hands today my most popular serve course. I've, I've, I've sold thousands of these around the world. The normal cost on this course, serving A to Z, is uh, $77. It's really transformed a lot of people's serves. I'm gonna just put up some quotes here from some actual customers as I'm talking. And uh, I wanna give this to you at a ridiculously low price that it's just crazy. Uh, $4.95. And that's just because I wanna reward you for sticking with me for this three-part series. I obviously know that the serve is important to you if you watched all three of these videos. And so it's just my way of saying thanks and introduce you to more of my instruction, what, my, what the inside of my courses look like. There's over 30 videos on the serve here and it's designed to take you from, if you've never even served the ball, to being able to do advanced things like hit slice and kick on it. And I, I take you step by step on all of that, improving your toss, getting a really nice rhythm on your serve. And so you can do that for just $4.95 just because you watch these three videos. And I, I've never offered it this low ever. And I'm even gonna do something even crazier as I'm going to give you a chance to try it out risk-free. So lifetime access, $4.95. You don't like it, send me an email and say, hey Pete, uh, $4.95, I want my money back. I didn't think it was worth the training. Even though if you took lessons with me, it'd probably take us about six months to go through all this lesson. So let's just take, think about this value. The, the amount of lessons that I go through in the course, if we work together twice a week, on the court together would cost you over $4,000 if we work together for six months. But the beauty of the internet is you can go through material at your own pace and I can package it all together. Everything that I would teach you on the court and take you step by step over six months, you can get instant access to it for just $4.95. And if you don't like it, which I don't offer to my students on the court, you can ask for your money back. So I really don't see any reason why you don't at least want to give it a try. You can click the link over here if you're on your PC and if you're on your, uh, no, sorry, if you're on your smart device, if you're on your PC, it should be somewhere right around here. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this three-part series. It was a lot of fun hanging out with you. And this is Pete, Crunch Time Coaches, signing off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.